Hey guys, Justin Watcher here from ProSportsExtra.com. Here we're going to talk about the Aaron Rodgers story a little bit. So yesterday, draft day, I didn't think he was going anywhere. I thought it was all BS, just a bunch of contract talks, you know, the usual stuff, the back and forth between the player and the organization. But then as the night wore on, Thursday night, the rumors started picking up a little bit more. Suddenly we got more traction to it all, and suddenly now we even have teams to it. We have the Broncos, the Raiders, and the 49ers. Suddenly now we have teams listed involved here. And now Rodgers is kind of speaking a little bit through sources, of course, and a little bit unofficially. But, you know, this thing seems to be picking up. So at this point, I don't know if it's going to happen or not, but it, it certainly seems to be going in that direction. So just a quick little rundown here of the three teams that are kind of rumored right now. 49ers drafted a quarterback. That tells me that they called the Packers, which has been reported. They immediately said, we are not trading Aaron Rodgers. It's not happening. He's not going anywhere. So 49ers had their pick, and what did they do? They picked a quarterback. So that tells me that they moved on. They found a quarterback in college they like. They're going with him. So they tried with Rodgers. They were shot down. So they moved on. Up next is the Raiders. I don't think that's happening, and that goes back to the 49ers. 49ers are in the NFC. Packers have lost to them in recent playoff years. If they traded them to them, which is technically a rival to them, that'd be pretty bad. So I don't know about them. Raiders doesn't exactly fit the bill, but they just seem to be a team that may just kind of be interested, just to be interested. If it somehow happens with Gruden, then obviously then things change a little bit for Vegas, but Right now, I'm not putting too much stock into the whole Raiders story. Right now, it just feels like, of course, they're interested. Obviously, they are. But now we get to the interesting team, the Denver Broncos. I think John Elway and Peyton Manning kind of had the playbook there of how do you, you know, how you can end your career and even end it with a Super Bowl. I think that's something very intriguing. You know, obviously, Peyton Manning was not at the top of his game the last couple of years, but the final year, even if it was just handing it off, sometimes what he could do, he got into the Super Bowl. And obviously, they won the Super Bowl. He, re he retired. So, same thing with John Elway. I don't know if Aaron Rodgers is necessarily at the end of his rope yet. He just won the MVP. So, let's not write him off too much. He's only 37 when you still have Tom Brady winning Super Bowls at, what, 44, 45, something like that. But if Aaron Rodgers sees that going on in Denver, it's closer to the West Coast. It is in the AFC, so Packers would get away from him then. It would be the NFC trading to an AFC team, which makes sense from their side. And obviously, it's a little bit closer to California for him, so he can have all the opportunities he wants with Hollywood and all that kind of crap. But here's the other thing about it is if Aaron Rodgers is looking, you know, he sees John Elway, whatever his role is with the organization, he sees that he kind of has a role there and he kind of understands it a little bit. He can kind of relate to him. I don't know how much he relates to the staff here in Green Bay, so I don't know how that really goes for him. So. All this stuff right now basically comes down to Rodgers wants to feel comfortable. He doesn't want the team picking Jordan Love or a backup quarterback while he's still there. And then last night when they had a chance, the Packers had a chance to kind of prove to him, what do the Packers do? They pick a defensive player. Of course they do. So it's not even like they were sucking up to Aaron and saying, hey, look, what we're going to pick a running back for you. We're going to pick a star receiver for you to throw the ball to. They picked somebody on the defense. So, again, completely gave him the middle finger. Gave him nothing. A slap in the face, again, to Rodgers. So, I'm sure he's frustrated. Now, if they th if they throw 30, 40 million at him, will it change his mind? Maybe, maybe not. But if he's telling teammates and staff that he's out of town, then seems like he's going to be out of town one way or the other, whether he's got to force it or not. So, either way, keep your eye on ProSportsExtra.com. Keep, keep following all the coverage. We're going to have it there. We have all the draft day stuff, all the picks, all the stuff going on right there, prosportsextra.com. Until next time, everybody, have a good day.